We live in paradise, but sometimes there's trouble in paradise. Behind this door is the morgue. Before 1976, people who were sexually assaulted were examined in the morgue. If you can imagine adding to the trauma of being sexually assaulted, to having to come down this deserted hallway in the belly of the hospital to be examined in the morgue. So a group of people got together, um, which includes some physicians over at Kapilani Medical Center for women and children. Um, Pat Psyche spearheaded much of this, and um, they got together and said that the morgue for victims of sexual assault was just not satisfactory, and um, formulated the Sex Abuse Treatment Center. So that was kind of our beginning, and then since then, so our program folded underneath Kapilani Medical Center, and then. Um, our, our kind of headquarters is um, downtown at the Harbor Court building. Driving to stay positive Light of all the negative Out of darkness must come light Changes are made and space is created Always will love lies from hatred Kapiolani Women's and Children's kind of took the lead, um, but it's always been inclusive of everyone. We see, as far as new clients that come through our door every year, is it just shy of 700? Yes. Yeah. And then we also have a, a hotline um, that is manned 24-7, 365, and on that, last year, there were about 3,000 calls on the hotline. For our acute forensic exams, we see in the neighborhood of about 200 people a year, and then for our pediatric clinic exams, which again are for minors only who disclose um, sexual assault post 72 hours, which is just for that evidence collection um, piece, we see about about 50 to 75 a year. So you work with pediatrics also, you work with children? Right, yes. yes, all ages, male and female. So in, in situations of uh, child abuse, is that what you're saying? Well, as far as child sexual abuse, mm -hmm. yes. It's just everyday people who are going through a difficult time and to be able to work with them during that period is very rewarding. Awesome. And then to kind of see their, their growth um, so immediately, I think that's the benefit that both of us yeah. um, feel being on the crisis team is um, you're with them like right yeah. in their immediate crisis and trauma and just to see that growth whether it's four hours later or four days later or yeah. four weeks later is just it's really it's actually quite rewarding. Yeah and actually we've talked about this before like it sounds darker than it really is like it's if it was a dark job we both wouldn't be here but there is so much light and healing in it mm -hmm. like when we leave work we see the healing process that people have gone through and even if it's baby steps or it's larger steps it there's always healing with it striving to stay positive light of all the must come by changes are made and space is created.